Most women don't know their skin type, but that's the first and most important step to effective skincare. Hi, I'm Asikia Iyana. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please do consider subscribing and do not forget to hit on that notification button so that you'll be notified each time I upload a new video. Today we are going to be starting with the basis and that's determining your skin type. Identifying your skin type is crucial and important to finding the right product for your skin type and looking your best. Today I'm going to be showing you how to identify your own skin type at home. There are three different types of skin types as we all know. We have the oily skin, the dry skin and the combination skin. Confused about which category you fall into? Well, you are not alone. Most women misdiagnose themselves and they end up using products that are not meant for their skin type and even create problems to their skin. Now, this is a very easy method. I'm going to show you two methods on how to identify your skin type. Last night before you go to bed, all you need to do is to wash your face, make sure your face is clean and do not apply any moisturizer or any kind of lotion. When you wake up in the morning, look at the mirror. Now this is called the T-zone from this part and this part is called the T-zone and here is called the C-zone. Now, if you have an oily skin, you will notice the oily content around the forehead, the nose area, the chain area, and also your mouth area. I will repeat again so you understand me. If you have an oily skin, you will notice the oily content around here, the front, the top of your head, <laughs> or the top of your forehead rather, your nose and also your mouth area that's for the oily skin now the dry skin completely your skin will be dry and it will feel a little bit stretchy and maybe itchy because you didn't apply any moisturizer at night or any kind of lotion that's the reason why you'll be feeling a little bit dull so that's the dry skin now the combination skin you will notice oil um, the greasy um, around this part of your nose and also your forehead that's the combination skin now if you have a combination skin you are damn lucky girl because i love the combination skin it is really easy to maintain you don't have to buy much products and that's fine now if you have the oily skin you can uh, maintain your skin knowing the products you use but oily skin is not so easy to maintain because you are likely to break out at any given time in your life I was once in that situation before I didn't know my skin type I did not know the right products that I was supposed to use for my skin and I kept buying different products that was not meant for my skin type and I had acne for so many years which was not so <laughs> good for me but as time goes on I started understanding my skin type and knowing the right product to use for my skin type and today I'm having a very good skin I would say for my age this is perfect <laughs> so if you're having a dry skin, it is also difficult to maintain because you have to keep your skin moist all the time. You cannot leave your skin dry because there is um, a pH level that you are supposed to maintain or every skin type is supposed to maintain. The, the combination skin is in between the dry skin and the oily skin. Now the dry skin and the oily skin has to keep that pH level in order for their skin to be balanced. So, you as a dry skin person, you have to apply lotions and moisturizers all the time to keep your skin to the level of um, the pH. Now, and you as the oily skin uh, combination or person, you have to reduce the oily content in your skin in order to have that um, level of pH as well, so that your skin will be balanced. So, another method of knowing um, your skin type is tissue paper or a paper towel, place it around the T-zone, look at it closely, if it is really oily then you have 
an oily skin if it's not too oily you have a combination skin and when there is no grease at all no oil no oil content at all then that means you have the dry skin so guys I am going to be uploading more videos uh, talking about good products that you can use for your skin type the oily skin the dry skin and also the combination skin so don't lock yourself in and say this is going to be my skin type for the rest of my life your skin type might change for various reasons like um, the weather the season uh, your health maybe you're going through some kind of um, sickness or something your skin type might change uh, your age also can change your skin type yeah because as we grow old we lose collagen and our skin type might also change while we are losing collagen and uh, what other reasons there are various reasons that can make your skin type change so I would advise you checking your skin type like every three to four months so that you'll be able to keep that uh, pH level balance okay guys so give this video a thumbs up if you like my video leave me a comment if you have any questions or want to talk about the same uh, subject that I'm talking about and don't forget to subscribe and hit on that notification button so that you'll be notified each time I upload a new video. I'll be coming up with lots of videos talking about your health, your skin, and any question that you have, you can ask me and I will make a video about it. And yeah, that's it. So stay blessed, guys. I love you and bye for now.